Today, I'm going to tell you the story of star spirits and good wishes. Far, far away, beyond the sky, way above the clouds, it's been said that there's a haven where the stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world, carefully, very carefully. And then, oh dear, what the? Who stuck that weird thing into the story? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> so I can at long last beat my arch enemy Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Cami Koopa. No, you mustn't do that! Yeah, now let's try using it! Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! <laughs> we did it! That was a piece of cake! <laughs> Now star kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes. But those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? God, imagine living in a world where not everyone's wishes come true. Horrifying, right? <laughs> hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy, and welcome to my Let's Play of Paper Mario, one of the most important games to my childhood. This was the first time I played any story-driven game at all, and Besides Pokemon, it was my first RPG. It shaped my taste in games in ways that are still felt 20 years later. Paper Mario is a different take on the Mario formula with a larger emphasis on world building and its characters. It has gameplay that's difficult for me to describe without you actually seeing it, but to keep it simple, it feels like a strategy game. The numbers are consistent and small, so you always know exactly what a move is going to do. The tension comes from your execution and strategy, rather than how much some random damage felt like helping you today. There's so much to customize that I find it one of the most replayable games out there, and it held up even better than I expected when trying it again recently. Speaking of replaying, this is the Wii U version of the game. There is no difference in content across the many re-releases that it's had, I just chose this due to some minor performance things. Any version will do just fine, this is just what I personally thought was the best for a video. If I can praise one thing right away, because it's me, I'm gonna say that you are in for an awesome, excellent, and varied soundtrack if you've never heard it before, if these first few songs are any indication. And you bet I'll be eager to stop and listen to so much of it. Anyway, let's get on to why this is one of the all-time greatest, Paper Mario! I wasn't kidding, the music listening already happened. You can cross that one off your bingo card right away. I think it'd be more of a challenge to see how long it takes for it to happen twice in the same episode. Anyway, you never see this anymore, having to name your save file upon starting it up for the first time. So my name is not Emily, it is E-M-I-L-E, -E, Emil. I'll make the seating host at Chili's get it right one of these days. I don't know why, it just brings me back to a simpler time whenever I have to type this in when starting a game. Mail 
call! Oh my god, I'm gonna have to talk as Luigi. It didn't even cross my mind until right now. Oh god, um, pressure, pressure, pressure. Hey, Mario, we got the letter from a Princess of Beach. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am going to ruin you so hard, Luigi. I'm sorry. I'll read it to you, okay? All right, let's uh, see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. So right away, not six minutes into this experience, this is one of the few things that I could not figure out while doing research for this. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know what that letter texture actually says, but I know it says something because the first line is clearly my dearest Mario and Luigi. The line before that I read is an invitation to my party at Mushroom Palace. I can see very good in the middle of the second line and see you soon below that. I think the final line begins with my guests. And then I see sincerely yours, Peach, as the signature. The rest of it's fuzzy, and I could not for the life of me figure out what it is. So if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them. It's just kind of funny to me that one of the few things I could never solve is within the first two minutes of starting this up. Welcome everyone to Toad Town, our new home for a little while. Hard to believe it's been 14 years since we last went through this iteration of the Mushroom Kingdom. I wanted to revisit this with tons of new information, and I think every part of this game will feel like a new experience. There's lots of information I didn't know, and that the community as a whole didn't know. This time, we very much will be doing everything. What a magnificent castle! I would never get used to this place! It already looks like a lot of guests are already here! I did not say already twice! You don't make me look bad! Say, I'm Mario! Why don't you go to see the, the Princess Peach? I'll go later! I'm not going to I'm thinking that will go for now! If you press A in front of the door up there, you can open it! Yeah! One of the best things about Paper Mario is the dialogue and the characters. There's a lot of fun stuff said by so many people, and I'll be talking to most of them. I want to say straight up that I will not be talking to every single NPC at every single time, as I will want to get a move on with things, but... Ah, Frosty? He's come all the way from the Shiver region, which lies far to the north of here. Here we go, time to contradict myself. Princess Peach is such a generous and wonderful lady, just as I was told. It was worth coming to visit. Uh, someone has never played Mario Party with the woman. Oh, man. I remember as a kid thinking that she'd be easy to beat, and, you know, great, like, that'll be easy to beat a girl because I was like a six-year-old boy, and then, oh, God. Oh, hello there, Mario. I'm Taste T. I really love to cook. You may not know this, but I cooked all the food for this big party. I made all my most delicious dishes, heart. But, oh, dear. I got so into cooking that I've used up all of my ingredients. Now I have to go shop. What are all these eggs back here and sugar and all that stuff? I mean, I'm just saying. Sure you're not, just your eyesight's going. I have been practicing cooking. I hope that someday I get to be a good enough cook as the delicious, as my, I get to, I thought it said, I hope I get to be as good of a cook as the delicious taste tea. Do you know how to cook, Mario? You really ought to learn personally. I think cooking is exceptionally fun. I agree. I didn't know how to cook until quite recently, like maybe last year and a half, and I've gotten pretty good at it. And, it was better than I expected. Oh, welcome, Mario. The last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. I think Princess Peach has been looking forward to seeing you since this morning, Mario. Nudge, nudge. She's been restless. <laughs> How cute. Unfortunately, there are no other rooms that we can go to up here on the first floor, so no going into Jolly Roger Bay, no going into Bob on Battlefield. Womp's Fortress looks different than I remember it. The castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at Peach's castle forever. I just want to bump him, man. He's adorable. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. Why does that toad carry a spear? Because he forgot his bazooka at home. Sheesh. Greetings, Mario. I am the minister of Princess Peach's castle. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like our kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. Uh, do you want to tell him or should I? Well, today we have guests from Dry Dry Outpost, the Shiver Region, and Koopa Village! There's so many folks here, I can't keep track of them all! Where might you be from? Oh, you're Mario? I, I'm sorry, excuse me! My cat is crying. 
Oh, come for them guys are known as Dry Dry Outfoos. This castle is really lovely, isn't it? Truly gorgeous. So cool and comfortable. I haven't got a chance to talk to you for the dates. What an honor. We're going to turn to Dry Dry Outfoos. I'm going to tell everyone about it. I'm a nomadi mouse, and I come from Dry Dry Desert. Everyone I've met in this town seems incredibly nice. I think I'll make this place my home away from home. You're welcome here, bud. Does Princess Peach have a special man in her life? <laughs> She's such a lovely lady. Whoever she loves must be very special indeed. Oh, what do you say? Hello, Mario. I'm always on the cutting edge of fashion, and I must say, your outfit is just fabulous. It really suits you. I'm here on behalf of Shiver City. I'm the mayor there, you know. My goodness, look at the time. I have to go shopping for souvenirs with Frost Tea. I come from Koopa Village, which is just down the road from here. Oh, I just had the honor of talking with Princess Peach. What a wonderful lady she is. Uh, everybody loving Peach. You don't know her the way I do. This is Princess Peach's room, but I'm afraid she isn't here at the moment. Okay, so, uh, this guy. I want to talk to him. Okay, no, it's only because very polite to go into a room without asking her first, Mario. I said no, and that means no! You are simply not allowed to go in there! Keep talking, keep talking. Boy, you're persistent. I guess I'll have, I have no choice. Hurry up in there, though, and don't touch anything. So this guy is interesting. Talking to him five times will allow us to go in. And we can poke around through her dresses. Her dresses are all beautiful, but they all look the same. This must be her favorite style of dress. A framed photo of Mario. I always remember there being a heart there, but there's not. There are some cosmetics. Mario looks fine without them. <laughs> Quite a fluffy bed. It looks like this bed was designed for sweet dreams. It doesn't seem to open. A vase full of lovely flowers. They smell heavenly. How can you tell? You're like five feet away from them because you're so short. So that's a little secret that we can do here at the beginning where we can go into Peach's room without permission. How was it, to tell you the truth? I've never seen the inside of her room. So there's a fun little secret, being able to go into Peach's room if you are rude and persistent enough. But what's less known about this guy is that he will move out of the way in the direction that Mario is facing for, you know, aesthetics and all that, so he's not walking through Mario. So for some reason, if we talk to him from the left five times, and then talk to him. <laughs> I envy you, Mario. Talk to him from, uh, talk to him again 21 times. Huh? Absolutely not. I don't think it's very polite to go into a room without asking first, Mario. It loads a garbage value and thinks that the number of times you've talked to him is over 4 billion and it can't handle that. So, he then walks over there and guards this side instead because he cannot walk further away from Mario. It's weird. I It's not known at all why that happens, and I certainly am not the one to solve this mystery, but I thought I'd show that to you, that he behaves strangely if he's talked to a lot, and it's one of the rare times this ever happens. Uh, I'm just a trainee, sir. So many guests, my heart's been beating like a bass drum ever since this morning. Thump, 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 thump. I love this music, and I would like you to stop and hear it, as it's a pretty remote song. down in the top bunk of my futon as a kid and just enjoying this song and it's such a nostalgic feeling. It was one of the few times that I realized I was in the good old days before they were gone. I think I said the same thing about Bean Bean Castle and Mario and Luigi. Oh Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet, thank you. Someone said you were restless for me. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Well, that didn't take long!
Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario! It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. You fool! We're, we'll be sucked into the vacuum of space! <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach! Bowser? But this can't be! It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me! I've lifted your castle up into the sky! It's sitting on my castle now! Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha! This castle's under my control now, my dear! Now you will obey me! Huh? What? It's Mario! What a shock! Ha! Not really. I expect you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time! Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true! I have had my problems in the past, but this time is different! This time I'm gonna win! Okay, tough guy, let's go! Bowser is amazing! Oh, I love how expressive he is and just how silly and happy. Mario, you can do it! Vote of confidence, so we only have one option and it's just to jump on his head. We do one damage. And he comes over. Slowly, and we just let him hit us. Take one damage. I gotta say, one damage is certainly better than we usually do when jumping on his head. Usually that doesn't go so well. Thankfully, we go first, so we'll have one HP left when he has zero, right? In that case, I see your one damage with another one damage! Good old Mario. Always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this! Look what I stole from Star Haven! It's the Star Rod! This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario! <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? I just love how he loves being evil. This is such a good portrayal of Bowser. It's great. He's, I don't know, like Bowser's always well written in pretty much everything and it's just fantastic. You'd best take some vitamins cause that didn't hurt at all. Another three damage, one more of those and we're done for. Bonk. Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Boy, it sure is a good thing he missed Peach. <laughs> oh no, Mario, get up. Yes, oh yeah, I did it. I finally did it. I beat my old rival, Mario, yes. Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. <laughs> Stars! That, that's how I pronounced prologue when I was a kid and I, I thought it was funny when I remembered that.
Oh, thank heavens. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the Star Rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now. Our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power. Phew. That's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. Oh great, a Goomba, just what I need to see right now and I'm already gravely injured. It really sounded like something fell somewhere around here. Oh, who could that be? This red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up, come on, up and at him! Oh no, he won't wake up! Oh, oh, what am I gonna do? Dad! Goomba! Goombario! Mario, can you hear me, Mario? You all say Mario a lot. I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Oh, nice place you got here. Good place to almost die. Oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake! You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick! This place? This is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just to the west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. Ah, hot single Goombas in your area. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Oh, oh. Huh, a star with a mustache. You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that and I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream. <laughs> I love that sound, it's great. Although, maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Who knows? Any, in any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Aw, uh, I guess not all Goombas are bad. My, how progressive of you. Goombas have made great strides in, well, not much, they don't have arms. Oh, land sakes, Mario, so nice to see you, my. I'm so glad you're woken up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just living there, when just lying there asleep for so long. Let's see, who do I wanna to talk to next? Let's talk to you, yeah. Mario, you look better, I'm so glad. I was really worried about you, because you were lying there in the forest, you didn't open your eyes at, the, at all the whole time. Hey Mario, I'm Goombario. Hmm, that rhymes. You also say, you say things that end in Ario a lot, a lot of Mario sentences. You don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. Aww. And then we'll talk to you. Howdy Mario, feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. You what? You have to leave right now. Oh, Shooting Star Summit. Something important, no doubt. Well, I believe this su summit is near Toad Town. You'll have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out into the east. 
The earthquake the other day really did a job on it. You feel that quake? Shoot, I thought the sky was falling. Just relax and don't worry. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Okay. And then... Is it you I want to talk to? I don't want to rattle the bush. I'm the one who found you, you know, Mario. Me, Goombaria. I was in the forest and I found you, and then I called Daddy and Goompa and Goombario. And then they came and got you, and I'm glad you're better. Aw, oh, kid, you want credit, but you deserve it. You did good. Oh, Mario, hello, dearie. You may call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's how I got the name. Oh, have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goombaria. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. Oh, even though she has pink skin. You're quite a looker, aren't you? Why, if I was just 10 years younger and single, of course, they're really going there. Oh, uh, we got to tell your husband on you? Let's go out here. Oh, he's already looking pretty lonely with the way he's moving. Oh, you startled me, hmm? Yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good, I knew you'd pull through. Call me Goompa. I'm the Goompa grandfather, so I'm Goompa. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. I didn't know what a veranda was the first time I played this as a kid. So I was like, veranda? Isn't that like my mom's cell phone company or something? I was very confused. Oh, Mario, my dad was looking for you. He said to tell you that he finished fixing the gate. So I guess now you can travel east to Toad Town and shoot in Star Summit, huh? Let's talk to you again. I wanted to go with you too, you know. But Daddy told me it was too dangerous, so I have to stay here instead. Ah, <laughs> uh, who's a good little unused party member? <sighs> Ooh, what a job! Sorry to keep you waiting. The gate is finally fixed. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, the home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe that Shooting Star Summit is just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you, but duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario. <laughs> ah, my instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hearty one, all right. I was smart to come here to check on you. Huh? What? What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Weird? You rude little... I am a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name! Cammy Koopa! You didn't refute that you're an inanimate object, though. Oof! I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, brat! But no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try to save Princess Peach. Ridiculous, laughable. As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than even you can deal with this time. Here's a gift from him. Ah! <laughs> Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. <laughs> um, I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Cammy Koopa, that fiend. Did you hear what she said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. Whoa, 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 what? Bowser went and kidnapped Princess Peach? Again? Oh, unbelievable. And now you have to go to Shooting Star Summit and help save her, right? Um, this could be a problem. Dad, we've just gotta do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess. Nobody else can do it. Um. Oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goompa's big hammer. I think he's using it now to fix the veranda. Go ask him for it, will ya? I think that's good of a stopping point as any. I had way more fun talking as Goompapa than I thought I ever would. Holy cow, I love these characters. They're so expressive. A lot of funny stuff already and, you know, kind of an epic beginning. Next time on Paper Mario, we will deal with our first road block in our travels. See you guys then.
Thank you.